Welcome back to another episode of Insane Wealth. In today's video, we'll take you through the inspirational story of the queen of all media, the legendary Oprah Winfrey and how she spends her billions. Stay with us till the end to know Oprah's mega real estate, her expensive cars, and her quirks. Before we move ahead, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel so that you do not miss our amazing luxury lifestyle videos. Let's get right into it. Oprah was born as Oprah Gail Winfrey in 1954 to an unmarried teenager who used to work as a maid. Unattended and uncared for, little Oprah suffered molestation from her relatives and was abused by many. Dumped at her grandmother's place to be raised, she used to accompany the old lady to the local church where she showed a penchant for reciting Bible verses. Granny could see sparks of talent in the girl and encouraged her. The granny later revealed that little Oprah used to interview her doll and the crows on the fence. Oprah credits her grandmom for giving her self-belief and for encouraging her to speak in public. Oprah was voted most popular girl and stood out in the speech team at East Nashville High School. In 1976, she was a co-anchor for Baltimore's WJZ TV's Evening News. With her emotional extemporaneous delivery, she made her way to the daytime talk show arena when she moved to Chicago to host WLS-TV's morning talk show. Within months, Oprah took the show from the bottom to the top, beating Donahue. Persuaded by Roger Ebert, she signed an international syndication deal and the former show at the movies was renamed The Oprah Winfrey Show. The rest, as we say, is history. The show became the highest rated TV program of all time and from there Oprah went on to do film roles, write in magazines, launch product lines, make many Emmy Award winning shows, do philanthropy and create a lucrative media empire. There isn't a celebrity on the planet who hadn't gone to Oprah's show. She even launched a television network of her own. And of course, she has raked in billions since she first appeared in her iconic show in 1986. She became the wealthiest African American of the 20th century. Her annual salary is around $300 million and her net worth is estimated to be a whopping 2.5 billion US dollars. So what does Oprah do with such massive wealth? Well, she lives like a queen and she also donates like one. Oprah currently lives on a 42 acres estate with ocean and mountain views in Montecito, California. She has another house in Lavalette, New Jersey and an apartment in Chicago. The third richest celebrity in the world also owns an estate on Fisher Island in Florida. But what takes the cake is her vacation home in Hawaii. Oprah bought all 163 acres of the stunning ocean view property for the fear that someone would buy a piece of it and fill it up with condos. The media baroness built herself a cozy house on those acres and according to her, it feels like a nice blanket, she says. She continues, a lovely soft cashmere one. But gazing at the turquoise blue ocean from Kashmir isn't the most exciting thing she does in Hawaii. She grows her own food on the side of a volcano because she thinks a majority of our food lacks essential nutrients due to the use of pesticides. She decided to grow fresh food for her and her community at the farm she developed on the side of a dormant volcano 4,000 feet above sea level. Her property grows over 100 different kinds of fruits, veggies, and herbs. But she can't spend all her time farming as she has a huge and diverse empire to run and a lot of time is wasted waiting at the airport. So in 1991, Oprah bought her first private jet for $25 million. Because it means one minute you're in New York and then the next minute you say, No, Edward, I think I'll fly to London. I'll do the shoot there, she explained. And when she's not flying, her food does. If Oprah is craving something specific to eat, she'll have it flown to her. She may have a sudden urge for her favorite crab cakes from a restaurant that is on the other coast, but billionaires like her don't have to worry about trivial concerns. For moving on the ground, her fleet of cars included Mercedes E-Class Coupe, a Tesla Model S, Aston Martin DB9, Bugatti, and Ferrari among others. But she could also be wooed by two-wheelers. Once she spotted an electric scooter and bought five of them, I needed it in every color so when people come to visit me in Hawaii, we will have the bikes, she told CBS. What is most heart-touching about Oprah is that she shares more than what she splurges. She's donated millions to multiple charities and has even started a few of her own. She's touched countless lives and each of them must be praying for her wealth to multiply. With this, we wrap it up, folks. Which aspect of Oprah's lifestyle did you like the most? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, please press the like button and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.